The Infinity Trade Some years ago, a boy named Henry was moving to a small town in the US with his family due to his father's job. When they finally got there, it was Halloween Zip and every place in town was decorated, except for their house. They started getting their packs from the truck when their neighbors came to meet them. Hi, I'm Connor, and this is my daughter Zoe. Do you need help? Sure, thank you so much, Henry's mom answered. When Henry finally looked, he felt butterflies in his stomach. Zoe was beautiful. Then, unexpectedly, she walked towards him and asked, Are you coming to the party tomorrow? Probably not. I hate Halloween, Henry answered. You should come anyways, because Halloween is a big deal here. Every year we have this huge party that everyone in town attends. Are you going? Yes, you should come and meet my friends. Okay, I'll think about it. Great, let me know. She smiled and started to help on packing. It was already Halloween night and Henry had decided to go to the party, but his mom was making him go trick-or-treating with his little sister Alice. So he walked with her towards Zoe's house and before they even knocked, she answered saying, We've been waiting for you. Let's go to the party. Henry was confused, but followed her even though. Once they got to the party, only their parents were there, but for some reason they were tied and asleep. Then, unexpectedly, both Henry and Alice were hit on their heads and passed out. They woke up tired and feeling very hot. That's when they realized their whole family was about to be burned alive. And when they asked Zoe's family why they were doing that, they all answered, You die so that we can live forever. And then Henry's family was another victim of the Halloween sacrifice from the town where you can choose to live forever. You just have to trade a life for yours.